Hello, Assalamu alaikum viewers. This is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar Lectures on Forensic Medicine. If you like my videos, subscribe my channel, share it, and press the bell button. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. Continuing with the topic of autopsy, this is the lecture number 26. And in this lecture, we will be discussing pseudo or false negative autopsy. The learning objective of this lecture will be that we will try to learn what do we mean by false negative autopsy and what are various lapses. Basically, these are the lapses which makes an autopsy negative. So the false negative lapse, the four or various lapses which makes false negative autopsy, we'll discuss them. So starting with the pseudo or false negative autopsy, the autopsy can become negative due to lapses in the conduction of autopsy or by careless examination or conduction by untrained person lead to such lapses. And these lapses are either lapses in the history, lapses in external examination, lapses in internal examination, lapses in the collection of material for histopathological examination and lapses in collection of toxicological examination and lapses in the person who is conducting autopsy. So regarding lapses in the history, as in routine, before you start conducting autopsy examination, a detailed history of the case is gathered from the relatives, from the friends, and whosoever was present at the scene of crime. And you should also discuss with the investigating officer of the police, what is his investigation about the case? Because there are certain conditions in which if you do not get the proper history, you may lose the finding as in certain situations like death due to vagal inhibition, death due to pneumothorax, or death due to air embolism. These are few examples that if you do not take proper history, you can miss the finding. Because in such cases, you have to follow a careful dissection, dissective technique to elicit that pathology. Then lapses in the external examination. As you know, the external examination is examination of clothes. As in medical legal, the clothes examination is very important. And this is done for finding some cuts, tears, stain marks, or any trace evidence which is located on the clothes. And if you do not conduct a careful examination, you can miss them. Then body should be examined on all sides in detail, especially the hidden areas, because the finding can be in there, that place. So there may be pricks, needle marks, or sometimes snake bite marks. And if you do not do the careful examination, you will miss them. There may be injuries at some hidden sites, as I have mentioned, which normally are not examined in the routine. And these are the fontanelle in the fetuses and infants, inside oral cavity, nape of the neck, umbilicus, rectum, and genital organs. 
these places are not routinely examined but you should do a careful meticulous detailed examination of all the areas then lapses in the internal examination for example in case of air embolism there are certain conditions in which the death occurs because of air em air embolism during medical procedures like delivery criminal abortion or intravenous therapy there are no findings on the body and if this condition of causing death is not kept in mind it will be missed if the proper procedure is not observed to detect air embolism so the precaution for the cases if you suspect air embolism is that after opening the chest cavity a small nick is given in the pericardium and pericardial sac is filled with water then the right ventricle is punctured with knife and the air bubbles will be seen coming out of the heart under water in condition we can also determine the point of entry of air by forcing the air back into the heart and to the vessels and it will lead to the point of entry then in pneumothorax if we open up the chest cavity without adopting the procedure of eliciting pneumothorax this finding can be missed so precaution in such cases is that if you suspect pneumothorax a pocket is made on the side of the chest wall by dissecting the skin and the subcutaneous tissues a flap is made and they are dissected in one layer then this pocket in the, on the side of the chest is filled with water and through the intercostal space the knife is then thrust into the chest cavity under water and the air bubble will come out from the pleural cavity so this is the precaution so the summary of this lecture we have learned what is false negative autopsy and what are various lapses and various conditions which makes of an autopsy false negative thank you very much this is all about the false negative autopsy in the next we will continue the other condition take care allah hafiz bye bye